hello everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing i hope you guys are doing well today guys i'll be checking out this interesting video from the officer tatum and it's titled kamala's career is ruined after this insane video you guys i'm excited for this and without much ado let's see what this video is all about why should we trust you so i'll say this look you can look at my career to know what I care about. You're considered the most liberal United States Senator. I, I somebody said that, and it actually was Mike Pence on the debate stage. <laughs> but yeah. Well, actually, the nonpartisan GovTrack has rated you as the most liberal senator. You supported the Green New Deal. You supported Medicare for All. I don't know how this video don't just destroy Kamala Harris's campaign. I don't know how. This video is brought to you by TatumStore.com, TatumStore.com. Make sure you get the merch link in the description section. Like and subscribe to the channel. Y'all already know what to do. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, I got a video that's going to blow your socks off. The last video I did was about call her daddy. She need to call. She need to actually call her daddy on the phone. <laughs> and, and he need to tell her to get your, off that podcast and get your life together instead of talking about BJs and threesomes and all this old crazy stuff. Just a nasty little girl. Call your dad and help he check you on that. Anyway, I did the video about that. But there was something that stood out to me in the video was that at the very, at the very end, why should we trust you is what that knucklehead said. And then I found a video collage of every reason on planet Earth not to trust Kamala Harris. Mm -hmm. And I put it, put it here for you so you can share it with your family now. Listen, this floozy. Why should we trust you? So I'll say this. Look. You can look at my career to know what I care about. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. All that <laughs> is called Bidenomics. It's a term we're very proud of, I must tell you. Responsible behaviors uh, among everybody in the community, and just because you legally possess a gun in the sanctity of your locked home doesn't mean that we're not going to walk into that home and check to see if you're being responsible and safe in the way you conduct your affair. Have you heard from... You're considered the most liberal United States senator. I, I somebody said that and it actually was Mike Pence on the debate stage. But <laughs> yeah. Well actually the nonpartisan GovTrack has rated you as the most liberal senator. You supported the Green New Deal. You supported Medicare for All. And yeah, I am radical. <laughs> if they fail to act as President of the United States, I am prepared to get rid of the filibuster to pass a Green New Deal. I am supporting the Green New Deal. I didn't talk about the Green New Deal. You mentioned that. And it's a resolution that I supported. And I support the goal. And she's traditionally been soft on crime. She's traditionally been very supportive of sanctuary cities and protective of illegal aliens. Uh, I support our sanctuary law. And as a matter of fact, uh, she once uh, delayed the trial and protected an illegal alien who went on to murder uh, three innocent people. You know, for far too long, the status quo thinking has been to believe that by putting more police on the street, you're going to have more safety. And that's just wrong. And then when she was a prosecutor and the attorney general in the state of California, she declined to pursue the death penalty against the man who killed a San Francisco police officer, Isaac Espinosa. And then she also was in favor of passing Prop 47 in California. She supported that. That's the one where if you go into a department store and you steal under $950, you're just charged with a misdemeanor. I'm proud to stand with my colleagues and friends and support Medicare for all. I don't know if your, your insurance company is going to cover this. Let's eliminate all of that. Let's move on. Who here would abolish their private health insurance in favor of a government-run plan? Yes. All right. You guys, what are your thoughts on this video? And uh, what do you think about this whole video compilation of Kamala Harris? Do you guys think these clips are going to ruin Kamala Harris' career? Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. And let's continue watching you guys. The two socialists and then the weak dude right here in the middle. Raise your hand if, cover if your government plan would provide coverage for undocumented immigrants. 
the idea that we would have a president of the United States that vilifies immigrants, that wants to build what I call his vanity project, a multi-billion dollar wall, which, by the way, will never get built. Because we have a president of the United States who has created a fiction about a crisis at the border around his vanity project called the wall. We don't need to build a wall. And by definition, just plain speak, basic English language definition, it is not an emergency. It's about a vanity project for this president. Right. That's, that wall ain't gonna stop them. No. 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 <laughs> Her laugh alone is unelectable. Over 13,000 non-citizens have convictions for homicide. There are another 15,811 non-citizens convicted of sexual assault who are roaming the country right now. I don't know how you could watch this video and still vote for Kamala Harris. Like the, the the dumb one at the beginning said, can we trust you? No, clearly you can't. Is this what you want for America? Is this the America that you want to see? This woman has been wrong about everything. She's been terrible as a vice president. She was terrible as a prosecutor. She's a complete fraud. She flip flop on stuff. She don't have no standards. I, like how could you, after watching this video, I wish we could do a poll. After watching this video, how many people are going to support Kamala Harris after watching this. You can't. If you love America, you can't. If you love freedom, you can't. They, they, they're talking about they're going to come into your house and get... You can tell she's not a strong, independent woman with her own thoughts. This woman is gullible to manipulation. If she ever gets into power, other people are going to convince her to go as far left as she already feel like she want to be. I don't know how she mm -hmm. went after this video. At all. None of these Democrats. It should be a awakening by the American people. Anyway, y'all comment in the comment section. Do, do you think that this was a damning video? And do you think that if you showed this to your mama, your cousin, your grandma and them, would they change their mind mm -hmm. about Kamala Harris? If the answer is yes, share this video. Show everybody you can that is opposed to it. Just send them the link so they can wake up. This yeah. is an embarrassment to the country embarrassment to to women i mean you go down the list and name it all this stuff they claim they like about her she just debunked her own mm. theology yeah. in one video i'll see y'all on the next one wow you guys that was such an interesting one from the officer tatum and as an american can you trust kamala harris to want to vote for her as the next president of america Knowing the fact that as the vice president, she hasn't done anything, she didn't do anything, and I just want to hear your thoughts on this particular one. This is such a good video that everyone needs to see before they begin to cast their vote, and I hope that a lot of people see this video because, oh my gosh, you guys, let me know your thoughts, leave it in the comment section, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.